All right, so uh, I ordered this uh, Owl wireless alarm system. I don't think Owl's the brand name. I can't remember what it is. We'll, uh, we'll open it up. I'm sure there'll be something on the inside to tell us maybe. All right, so it looks like we got, this is probably mounting hardware to mount it on a fence or a, or a tree or something, I'm guessing. And we have one receiver and four transmitters. So we got four plates there, little bag of hardware. Um, those look like these are going to be, yeah, these are going to be the mounts that are going to attach to the, the fence or the tree mount here, I think. I'm guessing these are going to go in here and allow you to rotate your sensor. Got four of those, four of these, another little bag of hardware, and it looks like this here is our, our sensor. Looks like a little owl. Put your batteries in there. And uh, let's see, let's take one of these out here so you can get a better idea of what we're looking at. All right, so it looks like these, this is the backs to that. It's not for mounting on a fence or a tree, but that's the back for this. Uh, it looks like there's two screw holes here that are going to match up to these holes here. So either this piece, yeah, it's going to have to be, because this piece isn't going to, oh no, it, it works. Okay, so either this piece or this piece, my guess is this is going to mount on the back of this sensor. This is going to mount on the fence or the tree, but we'll keep going here. You know me getting ahead of the directions. So there's, uh, there's four of these. And uh, this must be the receiver. Yeah, so it's going to plug into the house somewhere. It's got a little speaker here for an alarm. So we're going to mount this like in the kitchen or somewhere central to the house. Um, and it's going to receive from these sensors. So we can put one in the driveway, one on the shed, one on the front porch, whatever the case may be. Uh, and when somebody comes up, this is going to detect the motion and then it's going to transmit to this thing, which is then going to beep, hoot, owl, I don't know. Um, make some sort of noise so that we know somebody's there. Uh, we got some little note here. And then we have a set of instructions, user's manual. Um, so we'll take a look at this and figure out what we're doing. Yeah, so see over here, this shows us these uh, these things here are going to mount to um, whatever it is we're mounting it to. And then these are going to go on the back of the sensor um, and then plug into, plug into that. And then this just plugs in inside. Looks like some pretty decent instructions. A lot of the stuff I get, it's got like one little bitty card and it says assemble and that's about it. Or it's in broken English and you can hardly understand it, but these look pretty good. So I like the fact that right here it says uh, that this is already set up, but um, if you need to, um, you can search YouTube for these words and that there's a video out there. Cool. It also tells you if you want to add more sensors, uh, what the video is to search for, for the uh, instructions on that. All right, so another cool part is it tells me that there's 35 tones. So each sensor can be set to a different tone so that that way I can tell the difference between uh, where the sensors are and what they're looking at. All right, so we got our sensor here. We got all our parts laid out, uh, little pieces, parts. These screws here are for attaching this plate to the back of your uh, motion detector, your sensor. The long screws are for um, mounting this piece here through these two holes onto your fence post or your uh, 
or your tree or whatever. These short screws are for mounting this onto the back of your sensor via this plate. So you're going to put this, see there's two little posts here and then there's two holes here and so you're going to mount that on there like that and attach them with these short screws right here. So uh, we're going to go out and uh, we're going to get some batteries, put those in here. I'm going to start mounting these uh, where we want the, the sensors to be and then uh, once we get batteries in here we'll check them out and make sure they all work. Alright, so it's important to note this has a little rubber gasket on it. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure I get this these screws started a little bit to where the plastic is going down in there even and then uh, once it is I'll come back and tighten these up to where they're tight and that way it'll be good and weatherproof. Alright, so once you've got that put together Driveway. you uh you activate it and this thing should go off. Now, you can adjust the volume over here with this one. And then you can adjust the tone with this one. So, I don't know how you get it off Chinese, but um, at any rate, um, you activate it and then you can change the tone. You just keep going to the tone, pushing this until you get the one that you like. And then to set the tone for another one, you would just activate it and do the same thing. So uh, you, no complicated programming. You just keep pushing this until it gets to the tone that you like. Ooh, I like that one. That was pretty cool too. <laughs> Front door. Front door. Backyard. Garage. Garage. All right, I think we're gone through all 35 here. Anyway, pretty easy stuff. <laughs> 